Hello everyone and welcome to this video tutorial from visualnights.com. Um, today I'm going to show you um, how you can create a pawn from the chess set which is the first video tutorial from the chess set tutorials. We're going to create uh, this pawn, this tower, uh, the bishop and the knight. Um, those are the first four tutorials. But this tutorial will go about creating this pawn here. Now, first thing first, um, select your front view and go to view, um, viewport background. Now, I've selected the following uh, image. You go to your 3D Max map in your My Documents and you click on the Tutorials map, go to Intro to Modeling and click on the Ref Chess uh, image. You open that. Uh, it's important that you select match bitmap and then you see that this option here, check, uh, lock, zoom or pan, um, is checked and you click on OK. That's that. Click on Alt W on your keyboard so you can zoom in. Select a line shape and go from the top on out almost to the bottom, of, well entirely to the bottom actually in quite a straight line. Be sure you have selected uh, initial type corner and drag type uh, Bezier here in this menu. Now select the first line and basically what you have to do now is make uh, vertices all uh, at the places where you have a corner or a slight corner or a twist in the line. I'm going to click some points here, there, 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 there. and then click on the first one so you can get this pop-up closed spline. Yes, we want to do that. Um, as you can see, you have a bit of a rough shape here. It's not really nice matching with the shape of the pawn. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to modify <coughs> the uh, make sure the line is selected. Um, well, click on the plus sign and click on vertex. Now you can see all the vertexes of this line and one of the first modeling tools you will use is the <coughs> is the fillet option and we're going to see what this does you can see this first vertice here with which has a really um, straight corner and we're going to smoothen it up a little as you can see it becomes a little more smooth that's actually exactly what we need here and do that over the entire line or just as far as you want it oh, a little bit here, a little bit there <clears throat> well, I can imagine at some point like between those two vertices here you want to add another vertice because well, you can't really make a good shape out of this one you can do that by clicking on refine and then you see this uh, cursor changes with the plus sign and you click on it and voila there's an extra uh, vertice added select the vertice place it in a good way and you can see those two extra vertices that are attached to the center vertice the red vertice here and you can well change these lines here um you can do that exactly uh, in the way you want to do that it's just a bit little bit modeling feeling. Now I'm going to change these lines a little bit up and down. Now make sure when you zoom in that you have these corners well uh, fit because if you don't do that you get really weird shapes in the end. Well just for a roughly shape like this it's almost complete. Um, the more work you do here the better you uh, make this line uh, the better your shape is going to look in the end. Now that we've finished oh, sorry, almost, this uh, line shape of the of the pawn here, we're going to add a modifier. Now that modifier is called a laugh modifier. Press L on your keyboard and you will jump automatically to the L modifiers. Click laugh and press Alt W to get back to those <clears throat> four viewports. Um, 
and select the perspective viewport here and as you can see this object looks a bit weird it doesn't look like a chess pawn at all now the first thing you notice um, is that you can have uh, different directions for your left modifier to being applied when you click on the X or Y axis you get really different shapes what you need to do is click once on I on Y sorry and next you click on minus and voila you have a pretty nice shape here of a chess pawn now as you can see when you zoom in you have these little edges here you can of course add up the segment number so you get a more refined shape a more, much more smoother uh, shape let's put this to 46 and you see it's much smoother but it will cost more power from your computer to <coughs> to run this object you would render it well a simple shape is created well this was the first tutorial from the chess set tutorials um, if you want to create all the other parts like the knight here or the bishop please look at all the other video tutorials from visualknights.com goodbye